Okay, so for our tutorial this week, we're doing this zebra. And I tried to make it so that you guys wouldn't need to get a lot of art supplies, um, even less so than the last tutorial I made. So you're only gonna need a pen and maybe a pencil. Most important, have fun. So we're gonna begin with a blank piece of paper. We're gonna be drawing an oval. Like this. And then you're going to be adding two little teardrops in the oval. The way to do this is just make two lines and then a circle at the top like this. So now we're going to make the head. And for this, if you're using a pencil to first outline this, I would just suggest completing the circle the whole way. But since I am using a pen, I am leaving a space for where the ears will go. So I'm going to make kind of like a half circle at the top and then a little bit of a line at the bottom. So now we're going to do the ears, and the ears are really kind of like another set of half circles. So you're going to do them on both sides. And then we're just going to do a little bit of the inside of the ears like that. Next we're going to add the body. Now if you're doing this again in pencil, I would suggest just to make a complete circle or oval all the way around. Since I'm using pen, I'm going to make space for the legs and just start adding the legs already in. And these are just going to be rectangles that are attached to this oval. But again, you can do this in two steps. You can make the oval first, then attach the rectangles, and then erase the line that separates them. So now we have two legs, but Zebras, of course, have four. I'm going to put a leg here. And put another leg here. Now I'm going to add the tail. Just like that. A little teardrop at the end. Color it in. So I'm going to add the eyes. And really here, I'm just going to draw two little ovals and then I'm going to draw two circles inside of the ovals and I'm going to color in anything outside of the little circle black like that so zebras obviously have stripes so I'm going to add some stripes uh, now you can decide to do this how you want on your zebra. I'm just putting like a point at the end, almost starting at like a rectangle, um, wide, and then having both points come in, more like a triangle. I'll put some here, and then just color it in all the way. Put one on the bottom too, like this. And one here. Okay, so now we also want to add the color of the hubs. So we're gonna call we're gonna add another box at the bottom of each of the legs and then fill it in like we did for the stripes.
Then we also want to add his mane. So we're going to kind of make a mohawk on this guy. And I want you to be very aware of the direction you draw in. So we're going to like make a little bit of a line at the front here. I'm going sideways here. Just to give it a little differentiation. And then for the rest of the mane, you're going to go up and down only. Now this is really important because the lines help you perceive which direction the hairs of the mane are going in. Just kind of fill that in. I'm going to also add some stripes to his face, like that, and voila, you have a baby zebra. Mm -hmm.